Welcome to Math Movies with Miss Foyer Beck and Miss Valuti. Today we will be using arrays to multiply two digit by two digit numbers. Here is our first problem. 24 times 16 equals blank. I see that I have an open array here, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to label my open array. One dimension is going to be 24, and the other dimension is going to be 16. Now, I purposely chose to make this dimension 24 because it's longer than this dimension, and 24 is a larger number than 16. Next, I need to decide how to break apart my array into more manageable pieces. I know that I can break apart 24 by place value. I can think about the 2 being equal to 20 and the 4 being equal to 4. So I can break this number apart into 20 and 4. I'm going to make most of that side 20 and the smaller piece 4 to show that 20 is much larger than 4. I can also break apart 16 by place value if I think about the 1 representing 10 and the 6 representing 6. Now I have much easier numbers for me to work with. Now I need to find out what each of these different pieces represents. So I need to solve this first rectangle and this first rectangle is 20 by 10. I know that 10 times 10 is 100 and that 20 times 10 would be double that so 20 times 10 is 200. I also know that this piece is also equal to 10 because this side of the rectangle is 10. So in this space here, I have 10 times 4, which is 40. Next, I'm going to try to figure out what this part of my array is equal to. I already have one dimension labeled 6, and I can see that this dimension here is the same as this dimension here, so it must be 20, which means I have a 20 by 6 array, and 20 times 6 is, 10 times 6 is 60, so 20 times 6 will be 120. Lastly, I need to figure out what this piece is equal to. I know that this dimension is 6, and I know that this dimension is 4, based on the other rectangles, which means that this is 6 by 4, or 24. Now, I need to add all of the pieces together, because what I'm really trying to determine is how much 24 times 16 is. So I'm looking at the entire inside of my array. So I'm going to add each of the pieces, 200 plus 120 plus 40 plus 24. And when I do that, I'm going to get 384. So 24 times 16 equals 384. One of the special things about using arrays to multiply is that there's not one right way to break apart the original problem. So I can actually solve the problem 24 times 16 using an array by breaking apart the array in a different way. I still will need to start off by first labeling both dimensions. And again, this dimension is going to be 24, and the second dimension is going to be 16. I'm going to break apart 24 into 20 and 4. But instead of breaking apart 16 by place, I know that 16 is an even number that can, if I break it in half, I can do 8 and 8. And 8 is a number that I'm comfortable working with. So now I have again four pieces and I need to figure out what each of these pieces is equal to. So in my first array I have 20 by 8 which is 160 because 10 times 8 is 80 and 20 times 8 would be double that. And this piece is also equal to 160 because it is 20 by 8. Over here this dimension is equal to 8 as well, and so I have an 8 by 4 array, which is 32, and that means that this piece is also equal to 32, because its dimensions are 8 and 4. And 
if I now I need to take each of my pieces 160 plus 160 plus 32 plus 32 and I need to add them together so I know that 160 plus 160 is 320 and I know that 32 plus 32 is 64 and if I add 320 plus 64 I'm going to get 384 which is the same product that I got when I broke it, both numbers apart by place. And these are just two of the ways that I could break apart this array. There are many other ways that I can solve. So thanks for listening and learning how to multiply two-digit by two-digit numbers using arrays.